Landing on the moon is any country's dream, and India has accomplished that. With an astounding milestone by finally landing the Chandrayaan-3 mission on the moon successfully in one of the unstaffed locations where ice and water can be found. But nothing comes without challenges and Chandrayaan-3 probes facing a huge one right now. They have to survive the longest and coldest night of their lives and the problem is that they do not have heaters to keep them warm. As said earlier, the Chandrayaan is facing a huge problem, and it is the coldest and longest night of its life. Well, that sounds like a challenge, and that is what we are going to talk about in this video. We will tell you everything you need to know about Chandrayaan 3 survival. We will also tell you what the chances are of Chandrayaan 3 revival and what it means for the future of lunar exploration. The moon is very different from Earth. Unlike Earth, which rotates on its axis once every 24 hours, the moon takes about 27 days to complete one rotation. This means that one day on the moon is equal to about 14 Earth days, and so is one night. During the lunar day, the sun shines brightly on the surface, heating it up to about 260 Fahrenheit or 127 degrees. While during the lunar night, however, the sun disappears completely and the surface cools rapidly to as low as minus 253 degrees centigrade. Well, that is a temperature difference of more than 380 degrees centigrade. But not all regions on the moon experience the same temperature variation. The equatorial regions which are closer to the sun have more moderate temperatures than the polar regions which are farther away from the sun. The polar regions also have areas that are permanently shadowed by mountains are craters and never receive any sunlight at all. These areas are called traps and they are some of the coldest places in the solar system with temperature as low as minus 396 Fahrenheit or minus 238 degrees Celsius. But the south pole of the moon is especially interesting because it has more cold traps than the north pole and also more areas that receive sunlight for longer periods of time. These areas are called peaks of eternal light and they are potential sites for future lunar bases or power stations. South Pole also has potential reservoirs of frozen water which could be used for drinking, farming or making rocket fuel and this is where Chandrayaan-3 probes landed on August 23rd, 2023 to be India's third lunar mission and the first to land near the lunar South Pole. As we dig deeper in previous videos, the mission consists of two probes Vikram, which is a lander that carries four scientific instruments, and Pragyan, which is a rubber that carries two instruments together. They aim to study the topography, mineralogy, surface chemistry, and thermal properties of the lunar south pole region. But before they could do that, they had to face the harsh reality of the lunar night. But you might wonder how spacecraft can survive such extreme temperatures on the moon. Well, one way is to use heaters that keep their hardware at sustainable operating temperatures. Heaters work by converting heat from radioactive decay into electrical power. This power can be used to run other systems or charge batteries. Many previous moon missions have used heaters also known as radioisotope heater units. For example, Luna Code 1 was a Soviet rover that landed on the moon in 1970. It had two radioisotope heaters that kept its internal temperature at about 41 Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. It survived for 11 lunar days and nights before losing contact with Earth. Another example is Chang-3, a Chinese lander and rover that landed on the moon in 2013. It had four radioisotope heater units that kept its internal temperature at about 14 Fahrenheit or minus 10 degrees Celsius. It survived for more than six years on the moon and its rover U-22 is still active today. But Chandrayaan-3's probes do not have any heaters on board. Why is that? Well, there are several possible reasons for this design choice by the Indian Space Agency. One reason could be that heaters are expensive and heavy, and adding them would increase the cost and complexity of the mission. 
Another reason could be the heaters are risky and unreliable and using them could pose safety hazards or technical failures. As said in the last video, that Chandrayaan 3 has entered to its sleep mood. That would last for about 14 Earth days. So what are the chances of Chandrayaan 3 probes waking up after the lunar night? Well, that depends on several factors that are beyond human control. Some of these factors are first their inherent durability, how well can they withstand the thermal stress and mechanical shock of the temperature change. How well can they protect their sensitive components from the cold and radiation? How well can they seal their openings from the dust and the vacuum? Second, their location on the surface, how close are they to be cold traps? are the peaks of eternal light. With the Indian Space Agency, how strong are their signal strengths and antenna orientations? How clear are their frequencies and bandwidths? These factors will determine whether the Chandrayaan-3 probes will review partially or pulley lose mobility or functionality or fail completely. So what will happen to Chandrayaan-3 probes? Will they reawake on September 22nd, 2023 when the next lunar day starts? Will they resume their scientific experiments in a region of the moon that has potential water resources? Will they demonstrate a hop test that could pay the way for future sample returns or human missions? Will they remain silent and frozen on the lunar south pole forever? We we have told you everything you needed to know about Chandrayaan 3 survival challenge. During the lunar night, Chandrayaan 3 probes faces the daunting challenge of surviving the lunar night without heaters and their fate depends on various factors that are beyond human control.